Pentair Pentec IntelliDrive. It's a variable pump that gives you constant pressure. You can use a much smaller tank, but I had this tank already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the pressure in this and make sure it's accurate. So first thing you do is you look at what you set the operating pressure to. I have the, op the set point is set, I believe, for 68. Let's make sure, external set point, 68, uh, 68. The pressure in here when this is empty is supposed to be 70% of 68. So 70% of 68 is, I think, about 48. I calculated it, but I'm gonna have to see. I believe it's 48. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the well pump, like so. I'm actually gonna turn off the water from the house, just so that whatever's in the pipes don't come draining out of here, if I can. I'm gonna attach a hose to this, drain this out of the house, and then with no water in here, this should be 70% of 68. Let's attach this over here. That's looser than it should be. Okay, so we'll open this. Not opened all the way. That's good. All right, here comes the water. Actually, let me do this. This has been so dry out, these plants are dead. Okay, that, that worked. All right, so that's it. That's completely opened. All right, there's nothing in there. So now we're gonna check the pressure. We're gonna close that. That's basically nothing. Okay. Take this off the Schrader valve. Beautiful. 44. Forty-four. So I'll put another four PSI in there. We'll call it a day. Forty-five. Pulls a lot of air. Forty-six. Forty-eight. 
46. Forty seven, all right. That's it. it says forty seven and a half. Let's go with this. All right, good enough for me. Forty eight, forty seven. It's like about forty seven and a half. Right, let's let's go a drop more. Okay. Forty eight. Good enough for me. Now very important that this doesn't leak. I wouldn't mind taking a little bubble, soap bubble. But anyway, that's closed. That's it. Now I'm just going to turn the well pump back on. And it's done. All right, so let's turn the well pump on. Should go back on. Come on, turn on. I'll turn on the water to the house. Turn on the water to the house. All right, so it's filling up. All right. 50. So it's pressurizing. It's gonna get itself to, what did I set it for, 68? 68. Here. All right, that's it. This is before we put the, uh, the variable pump in there. But anyway, what you would do is, if it's a 4060, you set it for two PSI below the cut-in pressure. So you'd want the tank pressure in there to be 38. If you have a 5070, you make it 48. If you have a 2040, you make it 18. The idea is two PSI below the cut-in. All right, so it's the, same, it's the same way. Turn the well pump off, drain everything out of your tank. Turn the well pump off, drain everything out of your tank and set the pressure to two PSI below the cut-in pressure. With this variable speed pump, or a constant pressure pump, whatever you want to call it, you set it for 70% of what you have it set in, or set on. And in my case, I have it set for 68 PSI, 70% of that is 48, so that's what I, that's what I pressurize the, the, uh, the tank to. All right, thanks a lot for watching.